people up this early probably wanting to talk about thrifting stuff, but you can always rewatch this later on Facebook or YouTube. Um, I'm going to go over a haul. So I actually have stuff that I got earlier in the week, but I also have two large bags that we got in Chicago when I went thrifting with Bearded and Juan and Felix. So we have all this stuff. I'm going to show you what I got and also kind of tell you the differences between Chicago and Indy. And it's funny because whenever I get on live, people are always like, oh, Chicago, I can never find stuff like that. I can never. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. You just have to have that knowledge. So I've been watching a lot of tech and sports now that he's on YouTube. And I'm telling you, it's like, it's like he says everything that I think about and I don't say. You know, you can go anywhere and thrift anywhere, no matter how big the city is. If you have the knowledge, you can do it. No excuses. So good morning. Good morning, Momo. I told him they were going to lose. Yeah, you did tell him that, and they were. So, Mar, what's up, Mar? Um, good morning, Cindy. All right. So let's go over. Let's do one bag at a time. Again, Chicago was pricey, um, but I they, they still put out stuff uh, that was great. You know what? We're going to change up the hanger, Trisha, by the way. So first thing I got was for the personal. Actually, it was the last thing that I got. So this is what happened. Bearded and I, let me make sure this chat, my bad. Sorry, chat. Tam, what's up? Happy Friday. Love. Good morning. Of course, go Steelers. I'm not a Steelers fan, but that's okay. What's up, blessed Ohio picker? You're always around. Thanks for coming. I'm just going to throw stuff to the side. So we... We went thrifting all day. I'm in Indy. It's three hours away from Chicago. We went thrifting all day in Chicago. Uh, Bearded lives about 45 minutes south of Chicago, right into Indiana. And it was super late at night. And he's like, we still have an hour before retail arbitrage close. We we're like, let's do it. So I didn't get home till late. But check this out. Jalen Rose Flow Joe jersey. Now it is a Mitchell and Ness, which means it's a remake. But they're still cool. Mitchell and Ness, Rose, these are called the Flojo jerseys. None of you guys care, but the Pacers were really good at this time. And the unfortunate thing is we had Michael Jordan in our conference. So you know how that went. So we're going to change out the Surf's Up, dude. If you want my merch, it's in my TikTok shop. Oh, yeah, I don't have a TikTok shop, and I don't have merch. So, but I am going to put this up because that is sweet. Look at that thing. Look at that. Oh, should I put it that way? I think I should put it that way. I think that looks good. So Jalen Rose. Jalen Rose. No, other way. Other way. I like that. I like that. We'll change up later. So what's up? All right. Let me answer some questions. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. How much was that jersey? The tag's still on it, actually. Uh, it was 40 bucks. It cost 40 bucks. It's not for sale. So it probably sells for 40 or 50 or 60. I don't know. Um, I was excited. It, it was a it was like a oh my gosh, I can't believe that. I'm picking it up. Done. So bought it for 40 bucks. What's up, Bearded? Bearded knows. Bearded, I was just talking about whoops, just talking about how everyone went home and everyone was tired and it was late at night. Still have a drive ahead of us, of me. They we're like, let's keep going. So beer night, beer night, we're, we're like the thrifting machines. We don't stop. We do not stop. But he's at work today. Sorry, Bearded. I'm at work too. Uh, how much was that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I love that Jalen jersey. Me too. And actually, shoot, it's upstairs. I took all my jerseys upstairs. I have that on Champion. Worth $10 for that team. What? Um, what are you talking about? Work, morning work. Yeah, work. All right. So right now we're going to go over all the Chicago Hall. Now, I'm going to try to make it by nine because I'm going to do a work session this morning with Ethan. But let's talk about it. So I've sold these in the past. These are actually turf shoes by Adidas. And you see they're a little bit more expensive. They're $14.99, which I'm fine. That's the difference between Chicago and here. They would never put these shoes out. They would put them on shopgoodwill.com and who knows what they'd go for. But in Chicago, they put them out. They got my $15. They're happy. These will probably sell for around 80 bucks. Correct me if I'm wrong, but these sell well. These um, teams, and they're the turf shoes, they sell really well. So keep your eye out for those. Again, I'm just throwing stuff behind me. 
So don't mind that. Uh, let's see. And like I said, good morning, Mary. Like I said, Chicago, again, some things we paid up, but again, they would have certain things. So my bread and butter items are the things I didn't get. So they had my Polo Ralph Lauren's there, and they were all like $8.99, and I couldn't do that. Those are my $5 into 20 So maybe that's what people are talking about. But then they'd have Polo Ralph Lauren like this, brand new with tags, linen blend. You know anything that screams unique and that's polo ralph lauren i'll pick it up and this was 7.99 so people in chicago want to say you don't have anything that's way better than a, a shirt that i turn it so this will probably turn into like 40 bucks linen blend a brand that a lot of people pass up on or i don't know if just people don't know about it but it's sims it's like probably the highest one of the higher end fishing brands obviously it's like a fly fishing um, I actually was that guy in the store and looked this shirt up because usually I find the Sim shirts that are vented. This is more of like a, you went fishing on your uh, trip and then at night you're going to a nice steak dinner and eating some steak and buffalo and whatever on your adventure trip. And this one costs $6.99, but the comps for this shirt, they sold at $24, $25. So $6.99, I, I bought it. So a little bit more expensive, that would have been $5 where I am. I'm fine with that. Uh, those are beautiful. Uh, oh, I know those shorts, those pull rough Lauren, aren't they awesome? And they're linen blend. Yeah, steak dinner. I know that's what I'm talking about. Steak dinner sounds good. Here's an untuck it. Now the reason I spent five ninety nine actually that's fine. I would have spent five ninety nine on it. Regular untuck it. Uh, Sims. So Sims is I'm gonna spell it over here for you. S i m m s. Sims. It's a really good line of fishing. Um, but this is an untuck it, and this is a flannel. So this is one of the flannel untuckets for $5.99. I'll be able to turn this into probably $22. The flannels always sell a little bit better. And this time of year, I'm going to list this right away. And this is a really good color for this time of year, that maroon. Um, just that solid maroon like Christmas. This was a cool find. And another good thing about Chicago is you can talk to the manager of that Goodwill about their prices and be that person, and they'll knock down the prices. Here in Indiana, no. The price is what it is. If it has a flaw, like this had a flaw, they would say, we'll just throw it to the bins. I'm like, but I'll pay right now. Nope. We'll just send it to the bins. They're for real. Like something's wrong with them here in India. Something's wrong for sure. But check this pea coat out. So I got this pea coat, but look at this. Polo Ralph Lauren. Where's the hit? This is this is actually Polo Ralph Lauren jeans, but it's this U.S. Like, uh, see, it has U.S. Ralph Lauren. It's like a U.S. Navy trench coat. It even has the Navy buttons. Like, if you've ever seen the Navy trench coat as an anchor. Um, so it has the anchors on the buttons. There are two missing buttons. So it was priced at $20. And I asked him, can they take anything off because it has two missing buttons? And these buttons are super easy to replace. They said, yeah, we'll take $5 off. So bought this for $15. I wouldn't be surprised if this thing goes for like 80, my guess, even with the missing buttons. Now, of course, I could buy the buttons because they're very universal, those buttons with the anchors. They're on tons of pea coats, um, but I don't spend the time to do that. Uh, let's see. Same here in Ohio. They, they, you mean they, um, what do they do in Ohio? Do they accept like offers on stuff ish or mark down the price or do they not? So that coat right there, $20. I would have paid 15 here in Indianapolis. Instead, they would have grabbed it and sent it to the bins, and it would have sold for $4. Idiots. Um, what? I'm never here. Try uh, What? Uh, I'm here. I've never tried talking to the manager. Are you in Chicago, the Husky Mama? See? Look at me. And right away when we got there, I knew what color the half off was, and I knew the color that came out that week. So the second I went in the first store in Chicago, and they're all ran by the same Goodwill, I knew exactly what color came out that week, which is the new inventory, and I knew the exact color that's half off. So every store I went into, I knew exactly what to look for. Um, so there's a place. Oh, what am I ignoring, Bearded? Are you? What's sad? What'd you say? Uh, so next week, Indie Thrift? Duh. Duh. <laughs> you can't get work off unless you, unless you, unless you become a full-time reseller scared um but not taking pictures and listening now on the way to work 
but we'll be listening. Tam, no problem. And you can always rewatch us, but this stuff, yeah, this is a great stuff to listen to, rewatch later in the background while you list. So I'm glad I'm going to take this receipt out. So I got these really weird Birkenstocks. I've never seen these before, found these before, but they were Birkenstocks and they had that nice insole. Um, and they look like they've never been worn. So, but again, these would have gone to shopgoodwill.com and Indy. They put $12.99 on them in Chicago, but these will probably sell for, I would say, $60. Bucks. They're leather. And again, they have that nice insole that Birkenstock sandals have. So these will turn $13 into $60. I love paying up for stuff to make more. I'll pay $500 for something if I can sell it for $800 all day long. Uh, do you ever go to the bins? Yes. So, Cloudy, I'll, if, if Bearded does come down here, we'll end up going to the bins. I go to the bins once a month, maybe. I'm not a huge fan of the bins. Uh, Patagonia has Patagonia also has some military items? Really? I did not know that. Ralph Lauren, they have military. It's not like issued, but it's made to look military, and that stuff always does really well. Always. If you get it the right morning. What's up, Lucy? Call me Teach. I feel like I'm a teacher. I had parent-teacher conference this morning with my son. All good things. All good things. Um, I was bummed. I didn't uh, know you were here. Yeah, so it was just a quick trip. We're at, they were supposed to go Thursday, but they made it so I could go, which was very sweet of them. Uh, love me some half off. We don't have uh, half off. What's up, Casey? Um, Peter Millar, I know I, let me talk about this. I know I tell you I don't pick up these long sleeve button up shirts, but I'll tell you why I picked this one up. Um, great jacket. Thanks. I'm in Louisiana. Won't budge on Goodwill if tag falls off the shoes they won't sell them exactly that's how they are here too tag falls off they won't sell it or they'll retag it i uh, have you used ai feature on ebay for listing no daniel i don't use the ai feature because in my notes i just have a copy and paste that goes in my description and it, all it is is basically just my policies and everything um and it's copy and paste in every single description that i have super easy super quick super efficient at listing that's something you guys need to be able to do be super efficient at listing um, again, I'll, I'll mention what I talked about earlier here in a second, but here's a Peter Millar. I usually don't pick these up, but if they are a nylon spandex blend, I'm picking them up. So this is like the summer comfort, but the newer ones don't say summer comfort anymore. They're like a crown sport. So this is a really good, uh, Peter Millar for $7.99. This should turn into like 25 plus ship. I'm headed to my honey hole. Casey. I talked about you. I said, you have some real, we talked about the different places we want to travel in the U S talked about me like Houston area. And then you have a really good area around you. So I'm going to come there and take all your good stuff. Um, just had my biggest slip ever yesterday, 60 into 500. Adam, you're going to have to say what that is. We all want to know. That is awesome. Uh, we don't have half off like Western, uh, in North Carolina. Yeah. We don't have half off here either. Uh, good morning, Donna, Casey, uh, please come here. Bring the bestie. I will. I will. We need to come down there. Uh, I have a, an RLL Peacoat too. Yeah, those will sell good. The, the RLL Peacoat sell really well. Um, everyone, we talk about Orvis. Thanks for the heart, Donna. We talk about Orvis. We talk about be careful because they sell them at uh, Costco too. But like I tell you, I've yet to see Trout Bum. Whenever you see Orvis with the little fish on the top, that's called Trout Bum. And I've never seen that at Costco. So usually they always sell well, especially these nylon pants. These are like nylon fishing pants, like a Patagonia North Face feel. $5.99 for these. I'll turn them into $22 plus shipping. Speaking of Polo Ralph Lauren, you know oh, I like Unique. So if these were just regular Polo Ralph Lauren shorts, I wouldn't pick these up. But because it had these metal snap pockets at the front and their snap pocket cargos, and they had this like military thing on them, that's why I picked them up. They were $5.99. I bet I can flip these into like the high 20s. What's up, Big E? Thank you. Um, yeah, so high 20s. So we're getting into stuff. And Goodwill, in Chicago, you have to pay for bags, right? Um, which is fine. Um, at Goodwill, they sell these for a dollar. And these are good bags. They're like, they're almost like rift stop, right? A dollar for these bags. Load me up. I'll take it. So a dollar for a thrifting bag that says Goodwill, please. Yes, please. Dollar for me. Uh, let's see. 1995 Apple Quick Take 150 open box completely sealed. 
1995 Apple Quick Take 150? I don't even know what that is. Apple 1995. Everyone wants to know what turned fifty dollars into I think six hundred. Let's look. Let's look. Apple. Apple. Quick take. Quick take. One fifty. Apple Quick Take One Fifty. Oh, it's a okay. It's a camera. I didn't even know or some type of projector or camera thing. I didn't even know those existed in the box. That's good. So I took a gamble on these. As you guys know. Um, certain styles will sell like i posted yesterday that big um leather jacket that had that kooji look with the embroidery on the back i sold for 130 i just knew it had that style that that kooji 90s look it was leather i took a took a little bit of a gamble on it rolled the dice turned nine dollars into 130 i'm gonna take a gamble on these two this brand usually doesn't do really well for me it's that pella pelle pelle pella pella or I think in a video I called it PP, whatever it is, Pella Pella. But it's that thick elephant corduroy. So if you find the corduroy like this that's really thick, I call it elephant corduroy. The silver tab of these do really well. These were $6.99, super wide leg, totally skater jean or pants. I couldn't find any comps on them that are like this. So I picked them up. I guarantee you I bet I sell these for like $30 to $50. I can't guarantee you that, but I bet I will. Um, do you sleep, Biggie? It's very hard for me to get good sleep because I'm always working. And kids, kids hold me back. Um, are you holding shorts for summer? Yep. So anything, shorts, T-shirts, anything, right now is going in bins. Now those are the items that I'm storing for summer. Now I'm going to be doing coats, jackets, everything. In fact, at 9 o'clock, I'm going to be going live with Ethan and uh, working and I'm going to be doing just winter jackets. Uh, I'll buy a gym bag, please. I'll buy a gym bag. Uh, these Goodwill bags, look, how about another one? Like, why not? You saw how much I pulled out of there? A dollar for these. Come on now. Let's go. Uh, is that Jermaine O'Neal in the background? Daniel, it's not. Um, so this is... J Jermaine O'Neal played after the Flojo jerseys. So this is the Flojo jersey, Jalen Rose, but it's a Mitchell and Ness, and I got it on our trip. What's up, AA Ron? I got it on our trip to uh, Chicago, and this is for the personal because, you know, I like it. But I definitely have Jalen Rose jerseys. Um, shoot, I have them right down here. Let me see real quick. I have – you know I have stuff. There we go. Or Jermaine O'Neal. Do you, who'd you say? Jermaine O'Neal? Is that what you said? There's Jermaine O'Neal right there. Boom. And it has his autograph on it. How about that? Oh, yeah, Daniel. There you are. Check that out. Jermaine O'Neal with his autograph on that jersey. Boom. You guys know I have it right here at hand. Um, killing me on those throwbacks. I know. That was, at, that was at Marshall's, so I picked it up. That's for the personal. Bro, how can... How about that Cooney be beanie? I know that Coogee beanie. So that short sleeve Coogee sweater that I got, those are rare. I don't, you do not see those that I got from Bearded Office, whatnot. That's why I spin up for that. Then he's like, I think I have the hat that matches that. I'm like, what? And he's like, it's a beanie hat. I'm like, there's no way. He had a beanie hat that matches that Coogee. So sick. That, that, that set is so rare. So rare. Someone said that they might have had a sweater and they cut the sleeves off and made the beanie in it, but the beanie has a special Kooji tag, so I don't know. They must have done that from the factory. Um, getting colder everywhere, so everyone is going to be inside shopping online. Great time to list, especially new with tags. Dwayne, 100% right. So Q4, actually Q4 for me is really November, December, and January, even though January is considered Q1. January is always a hot seller for me. Do you sell on whatnot? So, Krista, I am going to have my first whatnot on Sunday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I have a link in my bio. And if you're new to whatnot, I have $15 off. You can sign up. Um, but I'm doing all women's clothing. So this year, my goal was to do women's clothing, list women's clothing. I don't like it, but I know what I'm looking for. So anytime I find women's clothing that's good, I'm going to pick it up and do whatnot with it, I think. Um, it said Apple. Oh, yeah, the thing. 
Uh, sorry, I'm back in the chat. I need to see how you photo coats. Uh, yeah, Amy D, I'll be live. You can see how I do my my photos on my coats at 9 o'clock. So that's all I have. What's up, A.A. Ron? Not much. I had a parent-teacher conference this morning going over Thrift Hall from Chicago. We might not get to everything, but we're going to definitely get to everything from Chicago. So this is the Chicago one. What is whatnot? Bearded. Can't with you this morning. It's too early. All right. So here we go again. They pulled these out on a new cart, yellow tag. Remember I told you we went right in. I figured out what was the new tag of the week. It was yellow. So I knew right away what the new tag, the fresh inventory was. Polo Ralph Lauren shorts. Again, you know me, Polo Ralph Lauren. These are really sick. Um, vintage kind of looking. They were $7.99. I bet I'll turn these into like $24.99 plus shipping, something like that. What's up, Jesse? Uh, let's see. I think you'll find that should just do men's and women's at the same time. Are you talking about a whatnot? I don't know if I'm a whatnot. I mean, my personality is definitely, I think, a whatnotter. But we'll see. I don't know. Um, we'll see. I, I I can list men's clothing really easy on eBay, and I don't mind getting the money for it. And I don't want to, like, I don't, I'd want to have a natural whatnot community. I don't want to sell to, like, you guys, the reseller. I don't want to teach you all. So here are some loudmouth. Obviously, these were sitting these were on the racks, and of course, these are screaming out at me. I know exactly what they are because I picked these martini up before, but these are loudmouth. There's two things you'll look for. Other than that, they're screaming. You'll look for the LM on the back pocket, and then also on the inside, they'll have this like yellow pattern. So these loud, I know it's hard to see up on Facebook and YouTube, but these loudmouth shorts will probably sell for around 30 plus shipping, I think. Um, they were $7.99. These will go in storage until March 1st. Uh, I'm sorry, I loosened up. Uh, you still sleeping? No, I'm not sleeping. Super loud. Super loud. That's right. That's right, Cat. Those are super loud. Cat, are you doing a whatnot tonight, by the way? Um, whatnot show Sunday night. I know, Audrey. Let's go. Blended, what's up, Blended? Let's keep going through it. This was a, this was a, I looked it up. It will sell. But it, it's going to take me a minute to list it. But this is an older Kappa, an older Kappa um, tag. And this is a team in Italy. And it's their polo shirt. But it has, like, you know, the little logos and hits all over it. Um, and this will probably sell for around $25. And I paid uh, $5.99 for it. So I bought that one. Juan actually grabbed another one it's very similar to it. I would have probably snagged that one, too. Um, yeah, bearded is very rude. I'm not even going to get into that conversation. Uh, tell me you said yesterday that sales, those flat lay hanger. Oh, Amy. So the flat lay hangers are by Trisha. She's Trisha. Are you on, um, Trisha is still in here. Are you on, um, Facebook? Trisha Smith. She does the flat lay hangers like that. So uh, I don't. I don't actually do flat lay hangers. I lay my stuff on the ground, but she's a really cool person and I want to support like, because these are awesome. And I had a reason to get it because I like to put stuff in the backgrounds. TikTok, you can't see. I'll turn it so you can see. Um, but I like to hang stuff in the background. So these are flat lay hangers. If you put a shirt on here, it looks like it's laying flat on the ground. So they're Trisha Smith is where I bought that from. And so it works perfect right there. And she customized it. They don't come blue. They come like wood, like pine wood and, and whatever. So I think her stuff is nice and clean and will sell on whatnot. There's some crazy backgrounds on whatnot. Uh, I clicked a few shows night um, and their backgrounds were so cluttered. I didn't want to buy anything. Uh, felt like it would be dirty. Yes, I think that's true. So you're going to see my whatnot background. I'm doing my whatnot at my turn of the century room. No one's got antiques. No one's got paintings and stuff like that. I mean, so whether that helps or not, but I just what I'm doing. Good morning, Grammy. I know early bird gets the worm. So love whoever said that. What? The whatnot stuff? The clutter? Yes. Bearded agrees with you, Audrey, how a lot of people, their whatnots who go in there and it's a freaking clutter. It's a, It literally is clutter. And that does drive me crazy. Like you're putting on a show and you're selling stuff. 
Like, have you ever been on QVC? Like, it's a setup. It's it's a show. Like, they're, it's not cluttered. I think it should not be cluttered either. But that's just my opinion. Again, pull Ralph Lauren. I would never buy this for $10. But this is a performance pull Ralph Lauren. These sell for $25 for me. Performance means they're like a polyester blend with spandex or nylon. This one's probably going to be nylon, I think. Um, yeah, nylon and spandex. So $10 into $25. I did pay up for that, but I'm not going to leave that behind. And this one I paid $10 for too. It's a car carbon to cobalt with metal buttons, but it's like a denim. So this is like a denim carbon to cobalt. As you guys know, I sell this brand often. $10 is a little pricey for me, but I'll be able to sell this for around $28. I wasn't going to pass it up for that. So uh, clutter whatnot's like a storage unit that soaked in rain for seven days. Bearded, that's very clever. That's a very creative way to put it. So um, let's see. Here's a Pendleton that was just hanging on the rack. And it's wool. So it's a Sir Pendleton wool hanging on the rack. And it was, I don't even know how much it was. Here we go. It was $8.99. So Sir Pendleton hanging on the rack for $8.99 pure wool. Yep. Scoop that right up. Ooh, this is a good one. So this is the one on the south side of Chicago that nobody was at. I don't know if they were scared or what, but there was good stuff. So pay attention to this one. Sir Pendleton, right? This would never be on the racks here in Indy. It'd be gone in two minutes. Check this out. RIP Bobby Knight. But this is a rain spooner, and it is a an IU. So Indiana University, which is really a really, really big basketball university. And Bobby Knight, you all know him probably. But that all over print, and this was cheap. This one, well, not it was 10 bucks actually, but I bet I'll be able to sell this for 40 um, for sure. So, especially with I don't know everything that's going on, but Rain Spooner all over print that are colleges or ML, MLB or whatever, they always do really well. Um, and he just died exactly, he just died. So, I think Trish is on TikTok. Maybe anyone know, yeah, she is on TikTok. So, if you're on TikTok, she's on TikTok. Trisha is on TikTok for sure. I'll know that for sure because we just talked a little bit ago. Um, Yep. Do you pick up all Pendleton? No, I definitely don't pick up all Pendleton. The only Pendleton I will pick up is if it's a button down. Um, or actually, it'd be a button up because you usually don't have the collars buttoned down. Pendleton that are um, wool and they can't be shrunk. So you got to be really careful with Pendleton. A lot of times people dry them and they're notorious for being sh shrunk. So you'll see like an extra large. Uh, there's Trisha Smith. I'm going to put you. Thanks, Casey. Trisha, I'm going to put her name, Trisha Smith, um, 86. That was my birth year. So Trisha Smith, 86. So, no, I see a lot of Pendleton wool sweaters that are bland. I don't pick those up. I see women's Pendleton suits and jackets all the time. I don't pick those up. Anything that's cotton Pendleton, I don't pick them up for the price what I'm paying for here. I don't pick them up. Wool button-ups, I will pick up. Men's jackets, I will pick up for the right price. So that's what I will pick up. Mine too. Um, what you too? What you too? Um, yeah, I always afraid to pick up uh, wool in case it's been shrunken. Yeah, shrunken. So I specifically said shrunken because sometimes Pendleton will have the moth holes in it. And sometimes I'll still buy those. Like if they had the elbow patches on them and there are a couple moth holes, I can get them for four bucks. They still sell for around 20 or so. So that's okay. And I know I've been telling you guys wrong. Peter Millar, I, not wrong, but Peter Millar, I don't pick up these polos too much anymore. But if they have an all over print like this one does, these are little tees, little golf tees. Hopefully you can see it. They're little golf tees all over it. I'm going to pick it up. So if the, if the, Peter Millar's have all over print. I'm going to pick it up. I paid $10 for this, which is kind of high, but I'll be able to sell this one for 30. And then here's another one. I spent $6 on it. Yellow tag. They just rolled it out and it's got an all over cool print too. So the basic stripes and the basic um, solids just don't sell like they used to. Anything like this sells better for me. This one was $6.
So that won't be 32. So $60. So like, we'll just say 14 and a 60 between the two of them. Um, did I take a nap yesterday? I did not take a nap when I wanted to. I took like a five minute nap. I had to get my son from school. They had a half day. Today, parent teacher conferences, all that sort of stuff. Um, let's see. Morning, Deb. What about if you find one at the bins, any style? See, there's always an asterisk. If I find a PMLR at the bins, any style, I'll pick it up because I'm going to be paying a dollar for it. And I can sell it for 15. Yes, I will pick that up. Um, are you venturing into t-shirts? So I'm not. I did not go through one t-shirt section at the Goodwills in um, Chicago, and I don't hear. The only time I go through t-shirts is if, A, they roll out a new rack, I will look at the t-shirts there, or B, if I'm in a store and I see something that pops out at me, like a Grateful Dead all over um, t-shirt that's sticking out, I will definitely go look at that. But I'm not venturing into t-shirts because there's so many people that are into t-shirts right now, it'd be a waste-ish of my time. And like I say, you find that one t-shirt that sells for like 30 bucks, I can find Peter Millar's and other things that sell for 30 bucks just as easy. So um, I think people get on the hype train a lot. I'm not going to be one of them. Where do you sell? What's your handle? Thank you. Hey, thanks, Brenda. Um, so I sell on eBay only, and it surfs up fine. So you're on Facebook. On my page, there's a link tree. And you can see everything. You can see my store. You can see my sold listings. You can see products I use, all that. Here's a Robert Graham. I was really on the fence about it because it's a short sleeve. Um, I think it was 10 bucks. Yeah, it was 10 bucks. I was on the fence about this one. 10 bucks, Robbie G. Let me know if you would have gotten it. Um, I think I can sell it for like high 20s, but um, I got it. So whatever. I'm not going to lose money on that. This was a big pickup, Bolo. This was my Chicago Bolo. Uh, what are your common prices used for items? Like an even or odd number. Since I use 99 cents, a lot of times I'll do like 88 cents or 99 cents. I never do a dollar. Like I never do $28. I'll do $27.99. Um, or if I do 28, I'll be 28.88. Just because it's easier to hit 888. Rather than 899, probably. I don't know. It just looks better. What's up, Kayla? And Big Apple Picker. I really just sold a red short sleeve Robert Graham for $28.50. Yeah. So I think I'd be okay with that one. Um, again, I'm going to hold that one for March, anyways. Yellow tags, new tags. This brand was new to me. I've never seen it. But guess what? It said made in the USA. It had this really cool, like, hit right here on the back and they can feel really nice so i looked them up look this brand up hiroshima hiroshima hiroshi kato hiroshi kato i'll show you right here and then i'll show you guys up on facebook so look at that brand right there hiroshi kato look at those jeans and look at the prices on those jeans so this is a new brand to me so you guys can see it hiroshi kato i'm gonna hold it there for a minute All right. Um, I know it's hard to see, but I think these sell for around $80 used or more. So never found these. And I paid eight bucks for them. That was the first Goodwill we hit into Chicago. Uh, what size sell the most? Bigger the better. So if, if if you had Polo Ralph Lauren button-up shirts or button-down shirts, you had large, extra large, two extra large, and then you had 3XB or 3XT, those 3XBs or Ts will sell way quicker than the others because they're harder to find. Um, and they're more expensive from the get-go. Um, I know you could read, but is it worth talking about? I know I could look, but is it worth talking about? Um, let me see, Grammy. We talk about what are your common prices? Uh, I know I could look, but is it, yeah, I could talk about it. Yeah, it's no problem. Um, let me see. Flip fourteen dollar denim into four hundred and fifty. Sarah, were they salvaged? Guys, look for salvaged denim. Anything that's made in the USA, like. I'm not kidding, though. The Japanese really love USA-made salvage denim. That's another thing. A lot of times, that stuff will send to Japan. Have you ever find fear of God? No, I haven't. Um, I felt that. What'd you feel? What'd you feel? Beard is shouldn't be working. So here is a pull, uh, Puma. I stayed away from Pumas a little bit more, too, or more often. 
But this is one of those um, like American flag ones. They're special edition. And this is camo print. Um, and it was a pink tag, which was half off of that week. So paid attention. It was $9.99. I only paid $5 for it. Since this is camo and it's that special edition, I bet I'll be able to sell for 22 plus shipping. So five into 22 plus shipping. We're still going through Chicago. Now we're going to hit some shoes. We're going to hit some shoes. John, John Gallinino. Exact. I don't even know who that person is for those jeans, but that's what's going to sell. They Those like limited, they don't make them a ton. A lot of them are handmade um, that sell for that much. And thrift stores have no idea what they are. You just have to know that feel. You can look at the bottom of the hem and see if they're salvaged. They'll have a red, red lines on the seams of the bottom of the cuff. Um, keep an eye out for it. I sure will. Um, how about Izod? Is it worth reselling? I don't buy anything Izod. There's like one or two pieces of Izod that I'd pick up, and that's it. So if you're looking for Izod, look at – type in eBay, Izod men's and clothing, and then sold, and then filter it from highest to lowest, and you'll see what Izod sells best. But it goes from high to very low very quick. So I got these Kobe's. I can't pass on Kobe Bryant shoes. They were $12.99, $12.99 for some Kobe's. I can't pass on $12.99 Kobe's. These were at the checkout um, right when I checked out. So I saw they were $12.99. I saw they were Kobe's. I didn't even look up comps. I just grabbed them and threw them in the cart. Um, just one of those things. One of those things. Uh, designer, designer, Christian Dior previously. Oh, got you. Coming in late. I'll catch the beginning on replay. Yeah, you can always watch this guys on uh, YouTube or Facebook later on. Uh, I found some Allen Edmonds for $31. I think that's the maker. Well, your mom, let's talk about it. Allen Edmonds. You would never find a box of Allen Edmonds here in Indy. They would go to shopgoodwill.com because we resellers take all the good stuff. Actually, Goodwill takes all the good stuff and puts it on shopgoodwill.com. So you don't even see it in the stores. Just saying. Uh, let's see. Grammy. Uh, I sold a second vintage men's swim trunks. Uh, what were they? Black, white piping. Most people would have them behind, left them behind. Um, asking price 47 Otherwise, red knit. Send me a picture of those, Grammy. I want to see those swim trunks. So Alan Edmond. These are called monk strap. Alan Edmond aren't always a good shoe to pick up. Uh, depending on the price, but look how much I paid. I actually paid $25 for these. Again, these are at the checkout at that same store. I didn't look up comps, but the condition was pretty good. I know that looks like it's not good condition, but that's actually okay. The heels doesn't have a lot of heel drag, and they're monk strap. So these monk straps do decent, and they had the original box, and they have like the bag that they go in and everything. So for $25, I'm not going to lose. Worst case scenario, I make ten to twenty dollars on them. Um, let me see. I want to make sure I'm up with the chat. Your mom, three bucks. That's nice. Um, it's true. You work at Goodwill. Rarely do you put out the good. Good. Got to catch. Uh, yep, it's slipping. Yep. When you're at Goodwill, you're going to find the stuff that they don't know about. They know they get they have a sheet in the back and it has all the brands and the labels and the people are known to pick that stuff. That's how it works, at least here in Indy. Nice, got yours for three bucks. I paid 24, so you beat me on that. Um found some Ed Hardy brand new, haven't listed it yet. Yeah, Ed Hardy does well. Be careful if you do retail arbitrage on Ed Hardy because um there was a pair of jeans I saw recently retail arbitrage and they were flooded online. So somebody already found them and got them and threw them up online. Re recently sold Allen Edmond, look like gold toe shoes, bought for 20, sold for 60 on Poshmark. Yep. Uh, golf shoes. Got you. Golf shoes. So like, yeah. Yeah. They, Allen Edmonds are all over the place. Um, the more detailed, so the more detailed they are, they do better. Like if they have a lot of detail through here, um, if they're like the wing tip, anything that's more detailed in Allen Edmonds usually do better for the most part. Not always. I um, also picked up these Cole Hans. These were $9.99. These Cole Hans, uh, these were uh, for sure. I picked these up often in black, and they sell for me really, really fast. So for around $40, $50. Bucks. So I'll pick these up for, again, $9.99. So that was a good pickup as well. 
Let's see. Uh, let's see. Also found a pair of Peter Millar dress shoes for the first time. Paid five dollars. Nice. Peter Millar dress shoes. Some of those do well. Some of them don't. Um, just curious. Uh, Bonnie. Good morning. What does Goodwill do with the stuff they don't put out on the floor? Good question. So there's two things they do here in Indy. They'll either send it to the outlet bins, which everything's weighed by the pound. It's basically the place before it goes to the junkyard. That's what they do with the stuff they don't that's messy or smelly or whatever or not good. If it's good stuff, they put it on shopgoodwill.com and then they use that money to go towards their cause. So they don't put it out in the stores. The more and more I go on, I, obviously I like to Goodwill and this, I and they support my old students and everything. More and more I think about it, I feel like those stores are set up just so they can get donations. And the in store, that the the inside of the stores, the clothing that are in the stores, don't even matter to them anymore. They're putting out Sheen and Old Navy and all this other stuff for like the same price as brand new. So I don't even think they care. Um, I answered a lot of questions, and I still have two bags, but I have to work here in like five minutes. So that was the Chicago Hall, and that's the one I really wanted to talk about. So when I watched Tekken Sports the other day, and I'm a I'm a big fan of his now. You never saw his face. And he's big on the knowledge is here. You have to know you have to build that knowledge. It's worthless or it's priceless. And he's like, people always complain wherever they live. Oh, everything's too expensive or oh this. There's always a complaint. He's traveling the country right now, going to places to prove that that's not the case. And he was just talking about on a podcast the other day. He went to a town with 2,000 people, went to a flea market, and walked out with $10,000 worth of stuff. Go listen to it. He said $10,000 worth of stuff. And I believe him. Um, and he did. He went to Orlando. People say stuff's expensive. He bought a season pass for Florida by thrifting. He shows everything he got. Everything he got. And none of it, there's almost none of it that was like I bought it for five and sold it for a hundred. It was all nickel and dime type of stuff. That says whole business is set up. Can you spell the name of those shoes? Alan Edmonds? Alan Edmonds. So someone in the chat spell those shoes for him. Alan Edmonds. So they will look like this. Alan Edmond. Alan Edmond. Well, learn something new every day. I do too. I learn something new every day too. Who's at Tekken Sports? And I realize why he's called Tekken Sports too. Because I'm always like, so if you don't know Tekken Sports, he's been reselling eBay for like 15 years maybe. He's been the number one seller in men's every single clothing, um, every single clothing category. He's been the number one seller in every category for like uh, 10 years. And his name is Tekken Sports. And he started with Tekken because he sold technology stuff and then he started selling sports stuff. So that's why I became tech and sports. And then he went to men's clothing. So Alan Edmonds, thanks Casey. Uh, the other one, please. The one shoes, the second pair, uh, the Cole Haan, these Cole Haan's right here. So these Cole Haan's are uh, grandiose. So grando, grandio. So these are just Cole Haan. Whenever you find like that knit and the lunar, it's got that that lunar. I don't think they have a collab with Nike anymore, but they look like Nikes. Uh, what's up, Big Sweaty? Are you in the chat? Oh, it's Big Sweaty. Tech and Sports. Yeah. I love Tech and Sports. Big Sweaty. Um, your Taylor Swift shirt that we bought from you, my wife loves it. She wore it to the concert. Um, Tech and Sports, you all know. So it is T E C T E C H E, I think. I don't know. Just go to YouTube and try Tech and Sports. It'll pop up. Um, you'll find them. But he's the OG. He is the OG. And guess what? His inventory system, he doesn't pre-bag anything for the record. So people are like, you don't pre-bag stuff? I don't. And he's the biggest inventory. Or he's the biggest seller, and he doesn't either. Just saying. I have that connection. Um, Nike owns Cole Haan. FY. There you go. So Nike owns Cole Haan. So I guess they do have a collab. Um, they just don't say Nike anymore. And your items will get delisted off of Facebook if you put Nike Cole Haan so you, or Nike Air Cole Haan. You can't do that. Grand Zero. What did I say? Grandiose? Yeah, Grand Zero. Grand Zero. All right, guys. So I am going to 
head off. Well, actually, I'm going to show you something I got yesterday real quick. Let's go through a few things. One of the questions, let's talk about it real quick. These are shocks. Don't be shocked that shocks sell. So Nike shocks sell really well. Found that out. That was a trial run. Um, I, I got two pair. Got two pair of Nike shocks. So here's here's one pair, and here's the other pair. Nike shocks sell. So if you can get them cheap enough, these were $9.99 each. These are local. We're down with Chicago now. They sell well. I also want to show you uh, this. So retail arbitrage right here. These reindeer corduroy embroidered pants. They were perfect. I got them at TJ Maxx. They're made by McLaughlin, which isn't a super great brand, but they do well. And uh, these are perfect for Christmas. So they cost me $29. I think they sell for around 50 or 60. So those are retail arbitrage. But I wanted to show you something specific. If I can find, oh yeah, here it is. So I picked this stuff up yesterday. I almost took a picture. This is what's selling. Right now it's November. This is what's selling right here. This bag, I found them both at the same Goodwill yesterday. And I'll show you exactly. I only went to one Goodwill yesterday, by the way. Uh, Hubby just saw some Cole Hans with blue soles. Yes, this should do well, as long as you buy it right. <laughs> Stop asking questions so he can show you guys stuff. Okay, I will. I'll show you guys stuff. Ethan can hold off for a little bit. These right here. What's up, Felix? Felix, we just went over the Chicago hall. If you guys didn't know, Felix was with us. This right here is what I found at Goodwill. This right here is what's going to sell if I list it today. Woolrich Buffalo Plaid. So this pattern is called Buffalo Plaid. Obviously, this is what you think of with Christmas, that black and red plaid. Buffalo Plaid, it's like never been worn. It's super wooly. I don't like it, but for $5. People ask me, do I pick up Woolrich? Not a lot, but when it's a thick Buffalo Plaid shirt like this, you bet I'm picking it up. I don't know exactly how much you sell for, but I think they're around 30 plus shipping. This, going with, some Polo Ralph Lauren thick corduroy pants. Yes, please. So they have that thick belt. Um, but Polo Ralph Lauren corduroy pants this time of year and that buffalo plaid, they're going to sell super quick. These were $5. So if you want to make an outfit out of it, which is why I was thinking like this, I'm not going to sell them as an outfit. But there's your outfit for Christmas or black pants probably. Um, but... $10 and to probably 60 right here. So 10 and a 60. And that's exactly what's selling this year. Those corduroy pants and those. Are you making a Chicago video here on YouTube? So this is what happened, Casey. I made a ton of footage for Chicago. And then we were going so quick. I'm like, I can't do any more footage. I'll keep showing you guys stuff though. Yeah, those were pleated. It doesn't matter with those corduroy pants. Pleated or not, they're going to sell. Pleated or not, they're going to sell. Normally I don't get pleated, but those are going to sell. I'm going to keep going, guys. So sorry if I missed a lot of comments. Let's just go over the hall. Derek Jeans, anytime I find BKE. Oh, these are shorts. Actually, this year was the first time I've actually sold BKE shorts, and they sold really quick. So BKE shorts sell quick. Bolo. And these are the Derek, whatever. Any of the any of the names I'll pick up. Uh, these are $3.99. I think I sold them for like $22. Here is a, I guess this, I guarantee it's Polo Ralph Lauren. Yeah, Polo Ralph Lauren. Slim fit, you know, my normal with these, $20, $19.99, $18.99 plus ship. Paid $5 for it. Um, my buddy at the bins texted me, pick these up. These are vintage Levi's with the orange tab. So vintage Levi's with the orange tab. I think she paid like $2 for these. And these will probably sell for like $40 orange tab. So sorry if I'm not answering your questions. I'll try to... Uh, what about BKE shirts? No, I do not pick up any BKE shirts. Those are one of those things that I used to pick up. They stopped selling. I don't pick them up anymore. Uh, where do you log your purchases price so you know the profit at the end uh, on eBay SKU? I have a, a spreadsheet that I've had for forever. So what are the corduroy's pants priced at? Those were $5. I'll price them at like 30. It just depends on what they are. Those will price at like probably $34.99 or $32.99. Don't know. Oh. These are from Retail Arbitrage. So whenever I find Peter Millar, uh, Crown Sport, Crown Crafted or Crown Sport pants at the Retail Arbitrage, they always sell for me. I pick them up. These are $40. <laughs> I picked up one recently for uh, $30. They sold for, 
I think 75 or 80. These will sell for the same. So 40 into 75 or 80. Again, it's not a triple, but you're going to make $30 after taxes and fees and everything. Do you have a link to your spreadsheet? Bearded, I do not have a link to my spreadsheet. So don't ask. You already know. Oh, these were Chicago too. Keens. This has this is a funny story. So this is the one I was live in. My wife was in there and someone kept we were in Burbank, I guess, but Burbank reminded me of California. I said, You're in Burbank? Are you in Burbank? You're in Burbank? I was like, Yeah, I'm in, I guess, in Burbank. I don't know. And I guess they're in the chat saying, I was there yesterday. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Don't be there. Leave. There's nothing there. Someone in Chicago. These are Keens. They were $10. Snow boots. These will sell for probably $60 easy. Almost never been worn. So, mister, don't go there. There's nothing there. Missed out on something. Or they came out that day. So, always hit. Always keep going. So people will say there's nothing in there. You will find something. If you have the knowledge, you will. I'm not being cocky. I'm just being honest. That's a steal. I know for 10 bucks. Uh, let's see. We'll keep going. We'll keep going. No more questions. Okay. Levi's. We talked about Levi's that I pick up. Silver tab, orange tab that I showed you, and 560s. If you were with me live the other day, I sold, I've sold a few pairs. I'm actually out of these. I don't have any left. But 560s, I sell 560s. And the reason they sell well are because they're kind of like a skater jean. They're balloon fit. So they go wide and then they taper at the bottom. So they're balloon fit jean. The Levi's 560s, I sell these. I can show you right now. Um, eBay. I'm going to put in sold. I'm going to put in 560. I'll show you exactly how much I sell them for. So $28. $28 is what I sell those for. I know you guys can't see them. So $28.90, actually, so those were an auto posture sale. So I bought these for $7.99. I'll sell them for $28 or more. Those were an auto posture sale. And I bought one, two, three pairs. Three per. Three per of those. Prana nylon pants, whether they're men's or women's, I'll pick them up. And these are convertible. So they have the zip-off bottoms. These are more desirable. They bring a few more bucks. These are five. Probably flip them into, like, low 20s. You guys can talk to each other. Sir, spitting facts. I'm just saying, I'm not, you guys should know me by now. Like, I am not, I never want to be a cocky person. Either. I never have been. So, but I will be confident as far as like what I'm saying. I'm confident. That's better. I'm confident, not cocky. All right. So these were more expensive, but I picked them up anyways. So these are Banana Republic Slim Fit. Um, they had the original tag on them. $130. I know MSRP doesn't really mean a whole lot. But these were ten dollars. No, never mind. They were eight dollars. They were seven ninety nine. I wanted them to be four ninety nine because it didn't seem like jeans, but they are jeans, so they were seven ninety nine. These will, and they're a good size, thirty three by thirty four. These will probably flip for like forty bucks. Yeah, I get thirty out of those. I'm fine with it. Hey, it's nine oh two. Well, I'll be on in a minute. These were with them. This is why I was upset because these were with them. Banana Republic. These are not outlet because there aren't two dots underneath it or three dots. Banana Republic has three dots. I think J. Crew has two. Either or. Same thing. But these are new with tags and these were five bucks. And those were next to them and they weren't five dollars. And I was like, what the heck? They should be five dollars. What's up, Juan? We went over our Chicago hall. Uh, good crowd on YouTube today. Yes. This it's an early morning. We have a, the early crowds in. It's a Friday. Everyone's like, I'm not working today, especially bearded. He's like, I'm not working ever. Um, it's 902. Are you live there today? Nope. I'm gonna be working from home today. I'm gonna be live with Ethan here in a minute. I posted this on Facebook. Brioni. So this is a Brioni for five dollars. Got this down in uh in the inner city of Indy where people don't go. It's a hundred percent silk. 100% silk Brioni. I didn't even look up comps. I know Brioni too well. It's going to sell well. Another rain spooner. I'm surprised they found these in the same week because I find like two a year. But this is a rain spooner all over print Dodgers. So this is probably going to be more desirable than the IU one because I've actually sold this before because LA has like millions and millions of people, right? 
compared to IU College School. Uh, here's that Mickey Mouse vintage. So this is a made in the USA tag. Made in the USA, vintage Mickey. I can't pass that up. Five bucks. I have no idea what it's going to sell for, but I couldn't pass it up. Probably going to sell for 25 A lot of times I don't look up comps. I just know what they're going to sell for. I only look up comps if it's like a new thing to me. Um, let's see. I said I'm not going to read it. My bad, my bad. What is the size of the Dodgers shirt? Um, the Dodgers shirt is a 3XL. 3XL. Bigger the better. Unless you're wearing like a medium like this. Um, this is Polo Ralph Lauren, Surf's Up Method. Short sleeve, sell better for me than long sleeve for some reason. Maybe it's because it was the summer. That could be a really good reason why. I have more. But wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. What is this? Oh, Robert G. Robert Graham. And it has this like, uh, it almost looks like a tuxedo shirt. See what I'm talking about? Has it like tuxedo, and it has like the uh, schmigger four in it. Has the schmigger four in it on the inside, and that was seven ninety nine. But this store right here is a mom and pop. I got twenty percent off. They sent me a message of a, or a an email say, "Hey, you haven't been here in a while. There's twenty percent off." So I went. Um, Polo Ralph Lauren. This is a rugby. This is nicer because it has that thick top up here. The thick shoulders has that extra layer. And it has the elbow pads, so this is what I would call rugby. Um, it was $5.99, 20% off. That will probably sell for $32. Uh, oh, yeah. And I love buying these. These LL Beans, men's or women's, I don't care what the size is. The barn jackets, they do really well. Corduroy collar, uh, flannel line inside, and they're like a canvasy outside. These always sell for around $40-ish or more, probably $40 to $50. And I paid 20% off, 10 bucks, which is $8. I'm so good at math. Uh, I couldn't find Ethan's live yesterday. Is it on Facebook? Um, it was on YouTube probably. He has restreamed, but I think we he just does um, uh, TikTok right now. TikTok right now. Good morning, Missy. All right. I'll do one more little thing. Okay, this is a brand I said I don't pick up anymore, really, unless it's got all over print. So here's your foot joy. It has these clouds all over it, sunshine and clouds. So for $5, which is what this cost, I'm going to pick it up. So the foot joys with, with print all over them, that's what they're selling at the golf shops right now, not the plain ones, not the striped ones. So I'm going to pick that up. Um, just pull a rough Lauren, the use, the use, the use. Uh, Peter Millar Summer Comfort. Ooh, this is a good one. KJ's. If you guys are watching this later, be don't at me and be like, "This dude's crazy." I'm just try, we're doing a work session this morning, so I want to make sure I get there. KJ's or K J U S. I know it's hard to see up there. There you go, right there. K J U S. This is an extremely high end golf brand. If you find jackets and pants in these, they go for crazy. In fact, Bearded's sister just sold a pair of pants for like 300 bucks. Um, they were like, I don't know what they were. But this is a really good brand. Look out for that logo right there. It's a good brand. This shirt will probably sell for close to 50. Holderness and Born. I found all these together. Holderness and Born, really good brand to be on the lookout for. And then another Holderness and Born for $5. Good golf brand. The reason I know that is because you go into a golf pro shop and look at the shirts they're selling and they're usually uh what's hot right now older and some born one of those this was a good pickup i can't believe they priced it at this this is a quarter zip like better sweater even though that's patagonia north face green perfect for this time of year for five dollars so they miss stuff they miss stuff five dollars never been worn really good do you buy and sell ties i do I actually just put a post on my Facebook. If you don't follow me on Facebook, go ahead about ties. Um, like this week, a couple like ties that I buy. So good morning, Central Illinois. Um, if you missed any of this, you can look later. Here's what I should be putting in a women's show. If the women's show goes okay, I'm not trying to make money off of people. I just want to get rid of my women's stuff. Maybe make like, um, you know, I buy it for $7.99 and sell it for $14. I'm fine with that. So this is that Diane von Verstenberg, whatever. A dress, I can't pass that up. I know that's a Nordstrom brand. I can't pass that up. 
Uh, this is cool. Vintage Champion Boilermakers. Got, got this for a buddy. And this is very special. We're going to end on this note right here. Actually, I got one more little bag, and then I'll talk about the, the ending note. Oh, yeah, these are good. These are good. So these cost $3.99. And they are, they are Peter Millar Crown Crafted. And look at the print on these. Really good print. $3.99 Peter Millar Crown Crafted. These will sell for probably $33 bucks plus shipping. This is what's special to me, guys. Sorry if I didn't answer your questions. So this is what that Purdue shirt. This is like an unworn, um, unworn crew neck from 1996. 1996. This is special because this is the AFC Championship when the Colts played the Steelers and uh, Harbaugh played for the Colts. This is 1996, so I was 10 years old. This is the game that made me become a Colts fan. I'll never forget it. This game, we. It was in the final seconds, and we ended up losing this game. And this game is the, the when I became a Colts fan. Um, two years later, I think, we got Peyton Manning, and it was all said in history. So that's kind of cool. I don't know if I'm going to sell that. Sweet Holden Nursing Board, I know it. It's a good one. It's the last time they were there? No, it wasn't the last time they were there. We went to the Super Bowl, and we won it after this. Like, actually, 10 years later, 1996 and 2006, we won the Super Bowl. 2009, we lost to the Saints, which I'm fine with because it's Drew Brees. Uh, I love sentimental thrifting. I know. That's a keeper. It, I, You know I like it, too. I mean, I have my jersey collection and all that stuff. So, go Birds! Who are you talking about? Steelers? Birds? Steelers? I don't like the Steelers anyway. That's why. I never liked the Steelers. All right, guys. I'm going to head out. If you're on TikTok, you can go over to Ethan's channel. We're going to be working here. I'm going to be taking pictures. He's going to be cleaning shoes. We're going to be answering everything reselling while we're working for a couple hours. So going to be listing and stuff. Eagles, baby. Everyone's all about the Eagles. I have no, I have nothing against the Eagles other than you guys gave us Carla, Carla Wentz, whatever his name is. He didn't even play. That's why I don't know his name. Wentz, you gave him to us, and he was a dud. So that thank you for that dud. You're welcome for teaching you guys. I appreciate you guys coming in. I know I promised doing a haul yesterday. I was super tired. I felt really bad. I didn't get on last night. I even posted that I was going to, but I'm like, I can't. So I'm like, you know what? I'll get up early. I'll do it this morning because I promised I'd do one. So I don't want to break a promise. Appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys later. Have a really good Friday. And I hope you get really good sales too. Really good Friday. Really good sales. Bye, everybody. Peace.